Sounds like this. What's up, guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage. So I'm about to pull in what I think we're gonna call the Birdie 30. I'm gonna call it that because of Wilbert. Um, I think it'd be kind of cool. Everybody calls these things Dirty 30, so why not be the Birdie 30 and be a little bit different? This is gonna be a drift track build, guys, and I need your support. So if you guys wanna pick up some T-shirts, also if you want to do a drawing. So I was thinking about like doing a project shirt, like where all the funds, basically all the funds go towards this build, anyways, but a shirt that basically funds this build so like a birdie 30 maybe like wilbert like sliding the four-door e30 around or something um for like a you know progress check on what will be going on eventually that, also you can enter the gleam competition i have that link down below as well that was for the 20,000 subscriber giveaway and gonna be giving away like five different prizes check it out it's got all the stuff on there all right let's go pull this thing in <laughs> All right guys, so I'm gonna be using my little like detail cart I made. I showed this in a few videos back, but I got this little cart from Ikea, put all my stuff on it. Works really well. And then we got that vacuum cleaner. So yeah, we're gonna get all this grime cleaned up. As you can see, the glove box is missing. Um, I actually got the guys to throw in a glove box with it. I have some pillows back here because Rachel needed help reaching the, uh, the pedals, but I actually have a new glove box. So, I'll be doing a video on that soon. Boom, there's a new glove box, and it's not broken or anything, so that was pretty awesome. That's actually 75 bucks. So I ended up getting the car for $1,600, and yes, it is an automatic. Eventually that will change. It's not gonna be one of the first things to change. Um, probably start with suspension and things like that. You know, see if we can clean up this grimy crap. It's like some soda or something. Boop. So I went to Home Depot and got just like some random crap. And then I went to AutoZone, got some like fuel injector cleaner just cause why not? It was on sale. I don't know if this stuff really helps that awful much, but hey, it can't hurt to throw some in the tank. Um, we got this heavy foam carpet cleaner. I'm gonna try to do work with that. And then we got some upholstery cleaner as well. And what else did I get? Oh, some white lithium grease for the sliders for the um, for the seat to make those go a little bit easier and for any you know all these old creaky type situations but you know what this thing's actually pretty quiet all right guys so i think what i'm going to start with first is this kind of wiping down like all the dash area and all that crap um then i'm going to put my like brushes in here clean up all these uh dirty old vents and stuff and spray it all down and then we'll do a nice good old vacuuming so i'll kind of show you guys in the trunk uh, this is what it looks like. There's the battery, which is cool because it's offset on the passenger side from the driver's side. So good for weight balance. Uh, and then I like using this brush a lot for a carpet. It really like, it gets into all the crap. You know, like when you have stuff that looks like this, it'll like agitate it and really get it out of there. So yeah, we're gonna use that, clean up the trunk. And another cool fact, about this trunk is, you know, besides it being fairly clean, and this car is really not bad, uh, full size spare, pretty awesome. Look at all that sound deadening, oh my gosh. Look at that, that is thick. Extra weight, eventually will get removed. We'll keep it in there for now. But uh, yeah, man, these things have a ton of sound deadening and thick ass carpet, like look at that, that's some quality stuff. So actually the trunk is like kind of surprisingly clean. You got, I took out the spare tire, but you got like some little nasty rag, a popsicle stick, Regal Dodge ad from like back in the day. Who knows? Pretty much it. I'm gonna clean up this area with like a rag, but it's pretty damn clean. Oh yeah, so also guys, when I was checking out the car, I did notice it had been whacked like just a little bit underneath. No big deal. So while I'm in here, I'm gonna use the BFRM. This guy right here, we're gonna pound that out real quick. It should be pretty simple. Uh, just gonna give it some wax, round it out, and then be all good to go, no more dent. Boom. 
Oh, smooth like butter. It's like new. Trunk is done. Actually, I'm gonna clean up this gasket right here real quick because it's kind of dirty. Clean up the top. Good to go on the trunk. Been progressing on cleaning the car. I just cleaned this side of the seat. Looks really good. This is what it looked like before. You see, kind of nasty. A little bit of stains and stuff. And yeah, looks pretty good. None of, none of that stuff. So I'm gonna continue on that. This back seat was actually pretty clean. So I didn't really have to uh, clean that up at all with uh, any upholstery cleaner. But you know, cleaned up all the seat belts, got those all tucked up nice, boom. So I've been working on this for quite some time and the whole thing looks pretty dang good. Go ahead and rip out the passenger seat just to clean underneath, get all the carpet and all that stuff really well. It'll give me better access. Shouldn't be too hard, four bolts, so let's get to that. All right guys, so this is the passenger seat now. Clean this one all up. This is the carpet, um, it turned out pretty dang good. I mean, for what it is, it's pretty old, but yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good. Right there, still a little bit of a stain, but that'll be underneath the seat for the most part. Um, this back seat turned out awesome though. And I still need to work on that seat. That one's still dirty. And then obviously down there by the floorboard and stuff. Bert's peeking through, wants to see what's up. So the seat should be really easy because it's just like four bolts, two in the front right there, and then two in the back on the slider. However, on the driver's side, I cannot get the seat to go forward all the way. And we were messing with it, me and Kevin were messing with it for quite some time. Uh, we could not get it to go. So I'm gonna have to screw around with that a little bit more, see what I could do. I might not be able to get that seat out until you know, I really, really, really need to get it out and I might have to break it, I don't know. So this is what the back of the seat rail looks like with it slid all the way forward. You can just go ahead and put those bolts back in. On this side, however, you have to connect the seat belt back up. So it's got that little bracket right there. I'll go ahead and put that back on. Just finished up cleaning the inside of the car. Overall, the inside of the car looks really good. I'm really happy with it. I've been driving it around like all weekend, it's Sunday now. Uh, I started, I got it on Friday, so I've just been cleaning the hell out of this thing, driving it everywhere, it's been doing great. It's been raining around, so I've got to slide it around in the rain. It has an open differential right now, but uh, might do a LSD, eventually weld it, but probably do an LSD just for street driving for the uh, winter time. Can't wait to do more stuff on it coming up soon. Pick up a Blake's Garage t-shirt if you guys haven't already. That will really support the build, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Later, guys, and wrench on.